Hey guys, this is Ryan Erlacher, your high tech redneck with lawabidingbiker.com. You gotta check this video out. Okay, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a detachable rider backrest on a 2014 Harley Streetlight Special. Same for any touring model, Harley Davidson touring model, detachable backrest. So, uh, let's get to it. Okay, first things first, just a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna get the seat off. We gotta get access up in here. So, very simple. This, slide your seat back, seat's off. This is the underneath the seat. Doesn't look too different than other Harleys, but this is how the touring models look. So, we've got to get in here and remove a few things. Um, we need to get right in here. We're going to have to get a nut underneath there because our mounting hardware goes right in there. So, we need to get this off. But this is your electron engine control module, excuse me. And uh, it's just got two tabs here. And you just pull a tab and you kind of lift up. We can get that on up out of our way. And this is just covers your battery. Um, I'm not, we could unplug these two. I'm not sure if we'll need to yet, but now there's two screws holding this plastic cover for the battery. Two bolts, excuse me, and they're actually Torx. So I'm gonna get a Torx drive. Yep, and it's a Torx, uh, Torx 40. So let's we'll get these two uh, loosened up. They're not real tight, it's just plastic cover that goes over the battery here. Okay. And we've got those out, set everything aside. Now, it's our electronic control module, and uh, <clears throat> these wires are gonna be kind of a bugger. So I'm actually gonna unplug these. You just push down, there's a little tab there. Push down there, one's white, one's black, push down there. All right. And then we've got these unplugged, obviously, and then these you can just pull on. They just got a little deal that slides down in there little plastic deal. Pull those out. Okay, <clears throat> now we can go ahead and get all this stuff out of here. This one actually slides on. I'll show you here in a sec, but you kind of, up front here there's a tongue, a plastic tongue. You kind of got to get in there and get it up over the uh, hardware there. But this one just slid. It just slides right on here. You can see the bottom. So when we put it back together you can just slide it on. And it kind of holds if it wasn't, it's not a big deal if it was dangling there. It just kind of keeps things organized. But anyways, now the battery cover is off there and we can actually get underneath here and uh, get this hardware on. Okay, as you can see, I've got the uh, mounting hardware <coughs> for the uh, detachable backrest. And it basically just the reason we needed uh, access is we need to get under here and stuff. And it's going to sit up here like this. But this comes in pieces when you get it. Um, I took this off my 2011 Street Glide. I'm putting on a 2014, so it works no problem. But, so basically, this is going to sit just like so. And of course, we're going to put these bolts through here and stuff. But we'll do that in a moment. The first thing we need to do is uh, we'll set this aside right there for now. You'll see these two nuts. We got to take these off um, first. So we'll get a little closer shot of those. We'll just take the nuts off there and then we're going to use that piece and what we're looking at is a 7 16ths here 7 16 socket of course be careful if you want to put towels down and you're really worried all right got those off first thing we're going to do is take this line it up <clears throat> it looks like it's going to go on the last holes here so and then these line up down here get you a little wider angle shot there um, so yeah again these are gonna line up down here and last hole there and then I'm gonna put these nuts on right here go ahead and get them started that's all I'm gonna do with them right now is uh, get them started because I want some I want to leave some play down here so I can get these lined up we're gonna take those bolts and nut I was talking about and uh, go ahead and get everything lined up and put the bolts through and then we're going to get go ahead and get this one in. And then, of course, we got to go underneath. Be careful not to drop this because you will lose it uh, into oblivion there and have a trouble finding it. So use whatever tricks or techniques you need to. I just kind of hold it up there with my finger and then line the nut up until I know it started real good. And I do now, so now I can grab the other one. 
same thing, I kind of pull the bolt out, get it lined up there with my finger. I can see that it's in there. I got a real good grip on it. And then get this started. And again, these are the same size, 7 16 So I'm going to get a 7 16 inch wrench, uh, socket and a wrench. And I'm going to go ahead and go underneath here and hold this. And we'll get this at least to where it's a little tight. And there we go. Now I'm actually going to take and really crank these down good. You know, you don't have to be crazy, but uh, about a half pass, about a half pass tight should be fine. Okay, that's done. Now we'll go up here to these. One on each side here. All right. We'll give these a good crank. Again, you don't have to over tighten these. I'm just doing about a, again, a half past when they get tight. Good enough. Okay, that is installed. So we'll go ahead and put everything back in here. Let's just put everything back in the way we had it. So we need our black plastic cover and our two bolts. And again, this has a tongue that goes, there's a metal deal down here. Um, just make sure your wires and stuff are out of the way. Get this cover underneath. Get your wires up here. Just make sure you fit that around the tongue. There you go, and everything goes right into place. This little wire popped out of here. You can see just a little cap for it. We'll just put that back in. Okay, this thing, as I told you, just slides on here. It's just kind of to keep things organized. Um, we'll go ahead and plug these two wires back in. Oops. There we go. Plug them in until they snap. I'll go ahead and push these back down. This back down. And then we'll just install the two bolts here. grab our torques and these don't have to be tight at all all it is is a little battery cover so I don't worry about it too much at all about there's good about there's good and we'll take our engine control module there's like it's there's it goes in between two tabs it just snaps right in there goes right into place there we go Everything's hooked back up. We can put the seat back on and that's installed now. And of course we've got the seat, the back seat, and of course uh, the slit right here is for the rider backrest. That'll give us access to this. And uh, when we get the seat back on, and of course your detachable rider backrest, simply squeeze together, figure out how high you want it. One, two, or three. I put it on the lowest, I'm pretty sure. And that's how that, and then push in to pull it out. All right. All right, we'll go ahead and get the seat back on. Make sure you get the front. There's a little uh, deal there and a deal here that has to get in there. You'll feel it. You kind of got to push down, slide up. Now the front won't come up and come off. And then, of course, line this back there where we're going to put the bolt in. All right, and then just a Phillips. And we'll screw that back down. All right, that's on there. All right, now we've got the slit here in the back seat. You just squeeze these together. You find your mount in there, the hardware we put in. Crank it down. I crank it in the bottom holes to make sure they get in the holes there. And Now I've got our detachable rider backrest. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in.